Dr. Jeff here from Newman Chiropractic. We're putting out a few videos for the fall student athletes this season. With all you guys getting back into sports right now, we want to put it out for you, the student athlete, and uh, you, the parent. When I look at my kids uh, playing soccer, big things that stand out to me is their form while participating in the sport, right? So a lot of these kids, or all of these kids, sit for seven hours a day after having this great time being outside and being active during the summer they get down to seated position for seven hours a day. So their form ends up conforming to that seated spine posture. And what ends up happening is they start running around and playing soccer, kicking, right, a lot with their legs in a slouch spine position. So their spine is in this position, they run a lot, as opposed to like a nice healthy human should with their back having a nice curve in there. Okay, so what we want is that we want that curve. And what ends up happening is it changes the entire biomechanical uh, chain of events that takes place while you are being active. We tend to see a lot of back pain because of that poor posture and that poor form while participating in the sport. We also see a lot of knee pain and ankle injuries with our uh, soccer student athletes. So knee pain can consist of pain in the knee. Sometimes we'll have some pain in the patella tendon. We'll even get some shin splints and we can get some ankle stuff too from playing on unsteady ground. A lot of sports now play on uh, the field turf, but there are some true fields out there still that have some holes in it and have some uh, unbalanced ground that we can get some rolled ankles with. So what we do for our student athletes and what we want you as parents to do, pay attention to them. If you think they're being overdramatic the first time, if they bring it up again, and maybe a third time, then it's time to do something about it. Always get some ice on the back or the knees, even prior to pain starting to become an issue. When ice is applied at the end of the day, it helps reduce inflammation and reduce any potential problems that can arise from repetitive straining of the musculoskeletal tissue. So especially with the back and them sitting all day, and even actually with the knees with them sitting all day, they are at a disadvantage to then apply their body to an athletic event. So no matter what you do, sitting for seven hours a day and then having to participate in a sport is going to cause some strain on your back and knee musculature. So, what do we do in the office to help you guys out? If you notice that simply icing and maybe a little rest on the weekends isn't enough, you get in and see us. Okay, what we do with our student athletes, especially soccer, is we always address the back and the hips. When we address the back and the hips, that's the primary area where lack of motion can take place and end up impacting your student athlete's proper form when they're participating in the sport. So, we'll work on making sure the back is nice and healthy, We'll work on it with some of our uh, soft tissue mobilization techniques. We'll work on getting your uh, student athlete more aware of their biomechanics while participating in the sport. And then when it comes to the knee, we work on the quad musculature, and we can work on the hamstring, hamstring musculature too, so the front and the back of the leg stays healthy. It's common for soccer players to, when they kick, over-aggravate their quad musculature, which can then impact their knee as a whole because the quad wraps past the knee. Osgood slaughters is an actual pulling away of the tibial tuberosity or the bone right through here that your quad muscle turns into the patella goes right in through there and it will actually the quad will get so tight that it will actually pull the bone off of your lower leg it can be something that typically an orthopedic would say you're out for the season you're not participating anymore because of the worry of that bully tearing off it's common in the adolescent age range. Luckily we have x-ray at the office. We're able to x-ray patients and see if this is the case in the first place. We'll give you as a parent and student athlete a better idea as to how long the duration of recovery should be. And then we work on all the quad musculature around here to lengthen this tissue, which is ultimately the thing that's pulling the bone off of the lower bone. Shin splints is a big one as well. Shin splints is caused by the flopping down of the foot when they're running. So a lot of student athletes, if they run on their heels, their feet are flopping down, which causes irritation along the musculature in the front of the shin. Now that musculature in the front of the shin can become aggravated and strained, cause shin splints. What we do is we work on all of that and work on educating your student athlete as to how to run properly on more on the midfoot. Okay? So I hope those are super helpful and uh, we'll catch you on the other one.